Hi everyone. Wanted to share something for this new year that I was sitting with. Uh, you know, as the as the year begins, we may look at two things. One, perhaps at the past, and to see what we would have liked to have completed, and perhaps we didn't because of some unserving habits that did not support it. Also, we may be looking ahead and sensing within us in the now the dream, desires, the dreams that we are taking a deeper look at so that we can create them and live and experience them. How we will proceed, the perspective we will hold, the choices and the actions that we will move to take arise only from one space, the space of what we are, the identity that we live in and we are holding in every moment. As a person, the identity of a person is a physical, psychological structure that's living its habits and desires. We do not realize as a person that we are the habit and the desire that is experiencing itself. We are energy, we are manifested consciousness. And the state of consciousness that we are experiencing is not apart from what is being experienced. You know, as a person, we think, we look at our habits and desires, we put time and space between, and we think they are different from us, so we try naturally to fix them or change. But when we really recognize that we are the state of consciousness, we realize that the state of consciousness that is living the problem cannot live the solution. But when we don't see this, we try, and that being the key word. But to try from the state of con same state of consciousness and to try and actually create true change is an impossibility. The one that is identified as a seeker and that is questioning all the time cannot see or live the answer. One may say that any state of consciousness that is lived we may give these states of consciousness names like a person or a soul. It's like a, it's like a paradigm. Each of us, the mind is like a paradigm. It lives, creates and experiences its own nature. It's a self-sustaining, perpetuating loop. We only play in the arena of our own mind. We only speak our stories. We only live our own world. And we cannot change the state of our world or our realm from the same state of consciousness and the mind that we created it from. We'll, we may see outward changes, but that will just be a different face, but the root is the same. And that is why we experience any kind of change to be a struggle. We find ourselves, you know, even if it's a different face, arriving at the same issue again. It's the reason that they say we cannot change anything without changing ourselves first. That's the state of consciousness. It is the identity. It is the root of the experience and the experiencing itself. We are an experiencing, a verb. The habit itself cannot change the habit. Then what changes? What truly changes? true change that we can call transformation. What creates true change or transformation is only a possibility when the state of consciousness changes. Consciousness is, lives and leads everything. And what I mean by that practically is the vibratory state of being that is held in every now, every moment. That is what is experienced. The I is projected and reflected back as the experience of our world. How we begin is how we're gonna end. So even though we speak of 2023, every rising moment of 2023 is that 2023. The cosmic gate <laughs> that I speak of is not outside of us. We are the cosmos, we are the gate, 
and the vibration that we're going to live and embody will determine the opening of the gate. So what do we do practically? And which very much feels counterintuitive to the thinking personal mind. <laughs> you know, for me it was because the personal mind wants to do naturally so. It's, it's unhappy, it's resisting, it's resistance itself. So it tries to change and tries to do, so it struggles to do the opposite, is to actually relax and to become aware, to become more conscious is the answer to everything in our own way, to come back to our breath, prana, to relax, to become more aware, to simply observe even if we find ourselves in the amidst the habit as we're doing it to become very aware and just observe so that it can reveal to us the catch you know the easy does it is what we say it's not just a catchphrase when we step into alignment become more aware we come into our ease Consciousness naturally expands. And what feels like magic to the thinking mind, transformation happens naturally without the personal mind wanting to do or fix its patterns or habits. Because when it thinks that, it tries, you know, we try to, as a personal mind, try to change and do things again and again. And when it gets fixed, let's say there is some change. We think as a person, our hard work did it. But the truth is that it happened because of a change of consciousness when we were sleeping, we were easy going. We are the light that we bring to the experience of any darkness that we may be experiencing. And all these practices such that help us become more aware, mindfulness, meditation, uh, including pranayam, or any of these practices where we, we can bring ourselves to more awareness, very, very helpful. It's the same with desires. It's the same exact thing with desires. We are not apart from our desires. And so when the person with its beliefs drops the obstacles and the ifs and the bus, buts, manifestation happens. When the personal dissolves, the state of consciousness that we are is ever fluid. And it's a simple shift. The life that we are is a living being. Consciousness is, lives and leads everything. The simple conscious seeing of a habit is the ending of it, not the beginning of trying to change it. When the conscious, delightful seeing and feeling of a desire is actually the living of it. And as conscious awareness, the true self, every moment is that choice point. Beginning, ending, two sides of the same coin. There is no time and space as the true self between the beginning and the ending. What is unserving ends and what is serving always lives. The identity we live in and come from determines everything. The I is experiencing its reality. I am my world. What am I? What am I? What am I? Take what resonates, leave the rest. This living is sovereign, swadharma. No one wrong, right, good, bad. Every arising we can sense for ourselves only and move to the rightness that we are. This is Swatantra, liberating living even beyond the concept of being free. Wishing all of you a beautiful rest of your day and weekend. Much, much love.